The last category of pre-reading books that I wanted to recommend that I've really loved reading with my children are books, here's a stack of them, are books that have really repetitive text that your child can sort of memorize and then learn to read along with. So I'll show you these two books and kind of explain the concept of what you're looking for in a book for your child to read along. With this book, Sandra Boynton wrote a really cute story about animals who go off and do all sorts of fun things, except there's one animal who's shy and he's always left out, and that's the hippopotamus. So at the bottom of every page, it says, but not the hippopotamus. So what you can do with your child is you read this part about what the animals are doing, and then they get to read this part, but not the hippopotamus. So you get to read about trying on hats and having juice, and your child gets to read these familiar words that are on every single page, but not the hippopotamus. But not the, they're very high frequency sight words. But hippopotamus is a really long word, and that's a pretty fun one for them to read themselves. It's long enough and recognizable enough that they really can find it on each page and read it. So you can ask them to find where it says, but not the hippopotamus, and have them start to point to it when they read it. This is a book you'll want to read over and over again and read together. Repetition is so important for young preschoolers. So anyway, this book is super cute. At the very end, it says, but yes, the hippopotamus, and the hippopotamus finally gets to play along with the other animals. It has a really good moral, and it's clever and cute and witty, and um, it has lots of repetitive words that your child can actually read and begin to recognize what the words are. This is another one about a little boy who really wants an animal, and so the zoo is sending him all these different animals, and he keeps sending them back. It has lift the flaps, where you get to find out what the animal is, and it's very repetitive. So they sent me a on every single page. So they sent me a, and then you get to figure out what this animal is. And then we talk about why this animal was not a very good pet. And then it says, I sent him back. So your child can memorize and read. So they sent me a, and then I sent him back. With every page, you kind of read it together. You explore this book together. But this is one where they really will, after some repetition and reading this book over and over again, they really will learn all of these words. They will learn how to read the word so the word they, the word sent, the word me, and the word a. So it's, it's really, really useful to have repetition like this. I sent him back. And then finally at the end, he gets a little puppy and he keeps him, which is very, very cute. Books like this, where it has repetition and predictability, really, really useful for learning how to read. This is a series by Osborne that has probably 20 different varieties. This is called That's Not My Monster. We also have, where did I put it? That's Not My Lion, That's Not My Princess, That's Not My Robot, That's Not My Tractor. Oodles, oodles of this book. Um, and we, we had all of them at one point. I think we got them for a first birthday present from grandma. She got like 10 titles for, for my son, but Anyway, on each page, it says something like, that's not my monster, and then something about how it feels. Um, its spikes are too fuzzy. And then there are these wonderful little spots with texture. So these are fantastic for, like, really young toddlers who are really just starting to be interested in touching books. They're board books, so they're indestructible. They can be sucked on and not not ripped as easily, um, but they're really, really interactive. So they're fun for like babies, but then as they get to that 
preschool age and they're starting to gain literacy skills, you can come back, circle back around to these books and then they can read them themselves, which is really fulfilling for them. That's not my monster, it's horns are too rough. So this is a fantastic type of book that you can look for. Really repetitive words that are predictable so that the kid can really feel confident and independent in their reading. And some of it, yes, some of it's memorized and some of it's just them figuring it out from the pictures, but it really gains that independence and that confidence, that feeling that they can read this book. And eventually with repetition, it actually does become reading because they start to pay more attention to the individual words and recognize them. And then someday they find them in another book and they read it somewhere else. And that's when the magic happens and when you just feel so much awe um, at their genius, which is an amazing process. So this one has different colors of animals and it says, um, what do you see on every page? What do you see? And then I see a, some animal looking at me. And it repeats over and over again. What do you see? I see a goldfish looking at me. I see a black sheep looking at me. I see a teacher looking at me. So this one is another one of those where you really, um, try, your child can really help you figure out what the words say and they can begin to read. All right. Um, a couple others that I just wanted to mention. We've got, I think just the first few pages of this are fantastic because it says fish over and over and over again. So that's a really fun one. Um, the pigeon loves things that go has like just one word on each page that's super big. So your kid can read that and then you can read the smaller blurb that the pigeon says. So that's a fun one where they can really figure out that that says airplane um, and read it with you. This one is called That's Not My Com or well, A Million Com no, That's Not My. I've been reading all those That's Not My books now. Anyway, A Million Chameleons. This one is so cute and it has all of these different colors. Um, and it rhymes. So this one is one where the kid can eventually like start to predict what the next color is going to be because it rhymes with the poetry. So we have something that rhymes with green. They're going to be able to guess that the next page is green because of the rhyming words. Um, so this one's really, really fun. Oh, I love this book. A million chameleons all in pink glided around the skating rink as they skated two by two. A million chameleons all turned blue. So much fun. And they change colors and go all around the town and the trees and on the carousel. And eventually they all became a multicolored heap of and they fall asleep. Very cute book. All right, those are my recommendations for books that have predictable, repetitive text, and I hope you have a wonderful literacy journey with your children.